Welcome to the lesson that will introduce Google Drive. Google Drive is a place where you will be storing your documents and such for school. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and go to Google and you're going to sign in. When you get to this window, whatever your student number is, so for example if it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you would type that number in with the at symbol, then student .asd20.org and then whatever password you use to log in at school. Once you type it in, click sign in. Once you're signed in, what you're going to do is click up here where it says apps and you're going to choose drive. If for some reason it isn't showing, you would Google Google Drive. Choose Google Drive and this is where we're going to be spending a great deal of time. Now yours is probably going to be empty. I am pretty disorganized and one of the reasons I'm doing this lesson is I want you to be well organized for school. Choose create and in this case choose folder and what I'm going to encourage you to do for organization purposes is type in your grade because this drive will follow you throughout District 20. Let's say you're in sixth grade you would type in sixth grade so next year you would create a seventh grade folder for everything for those grades. So let's say for example you're in sixth grade. Type in sixth grade and choose create. Now once you've created that folder go ahead and open that folder by double clicking and this is where you're going to add various folders for your different classes. You might create a language arts folder for everything that you're going to do in language arts. Since we're only dealing with computer class right now I'm going to choose create folder and I'm going to type in computer class and choose create. Once you've created computer class go ahead and double click on that folder and I'm going to have you create folders that you will be using throughout computer class. So again you'll choose create folder and you're going to type in images. Anytime you get an image from the internet you can store it here. Let's say for example you're doing a project at home you're grabbing images that you want to use in a project for computer class you would put them in this folder. Choose create. Now I'm going to choose create again and choose folder and type in sound. You might be using sound for various projects in computer class and I'll choose create. I'm going to choose create again folder and PowerPoint and choose create. I'll choose create again folder and video and choose create. I'll choose create again and choose folder and choose Word. You might be doing some projects with Microsoft Word and you would be storing them in this folder. The beauty of using Google Drive is you can put all this stuff in here from school. You could then go home, log in, and access these materials at home if you need to. If for some reason you need another folder for computer class, you can always come into this folder and add a new folder. Now let's say you wanted to create a folder for language arts. You would click on that sixth grade folder and then you would choose create folder and you would type in language arts and choose create. Do you see how this is starting to look organized? Before we finish this assignment, I want to discuss the previous project you did which was file management where you created a folder on your desktop and you had an images, PowerPoint, sound, etc. Now what I want you to do is notice I have a couple images. Now if I want to get these images into my Google Drive folder, what I'm going to do is I will open up computer class, I will then open up the images folder and I could either drag from that folder in here and drop it or I can choose the upload option here in the upper left corner. So I'll choose upload files. I will locate that folder on my desktop images and I will select those two at the same time and choose open. As you can see it is now loaded into my images folder in Google Drive. So if I go home I can access this material by logging into Google and going into that folder. I want you to imagine that you are at home and you log in to the District 20 login and you want to find an image and upload it to your images folder so that you can use it in the classroom at school. So go ahead and go to Google. So for example if you want a picture of New York City you would choose the images option. Do make sure that safe search is on. If not you need to put a check mark next to filter explicit results. If you want a large image make sure you choose search tools, size, and then large and then you can locate your image. When you find an image you want go ahead and click on that image to get the larger image. Make sure it loads clearly. 
And one of the beauties of getting images at home is you don't have the same filter at school and sometimes that filter is really restricting. Like for example, this image, which is very appropriate, might be filtered at school for whatever reason. Go ahead and right click, save image as, and store it somewhere, maybe on your desktop. You might create a folder on your desktop, whatever. I'll just go ahead and choose New York City and choose save. I will then log into my Google Drive. I will open up that sixth grade folder by double clicking. I will then open up computer class. I will open up images. And then I will choose the upload option here. Upload files. And then I will go to the desktop and choose New York City to upload that image. Once you have that image uploaded to Google Drive. To clear things off your desktop, you could go ahead and delete that image. So I will select the image and choose the delete key to keep my desktop from getting really messy. This concludes the session on how to start storing your information in Google Drive. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.